people have real fears about subversive activity and terror attacks. Um, and Donald Trump has proven himself very good at plugging into those, whether it was the San Bernardino attack or the uh, shooting in Orlando. He's talked about how our constraints on the FBI and how our corporate resistance to collaborating with government, he went off to Apple, um, have led to people dying, have led to attacks like this. How do you intervene in that discourse, which, you know, it's a big mix of people who have those fears? Well, first of all, I think that's hyperbole. I don't, I absolutely disagree that the response to terrorism is greater surveillance. But also I think what's at stake is really who do we want to be as a country moving forward? Um, and my sense is, is that when you jeopardize the right to privacy, you jeopardize the right to assembly, and the je you jeopardize the right to free speech. Those three rights are the core of who we are as a democracy. Mm -hmm. And I think we can't afford that risk, especially at a time right now, to, to not be able to have those pillars strong and functioning. And right now, the right to privacy is extremely, extremely anemic, given the, the way that it's been eroded, not just by policy, but also by the corporations frankly. And I think this is why the work of self-defense and looking at digital security is an important way that we kind of gird all of our movements across the board is one of the ways that we can make sure that we can organize safely through this next administration. But just to push you just slightly, what if you're not in an organization, you're not in a movement, you're not getting a whole lot of education, and maybe you don't have a big feeling about the nature of the state. You're just scared there'll be an attack on your school. And you're thinking, let the FBI do what they want. I think that um, it's a very short-sighted position to have because you don't know what's going to be used against you when and where and why. So let's say that you're a mother in Kansas who feels that position, um, but you have a child that is... I know um, people in Brooklyn who feel that way. Yeah, okay, let's say, <laughs> let's say you ha you're someone who um, is a mother in Brooklyn who feels that way. You don't know what are the layers of connection you might have to someone that might be vulnerable through a sting like this. But also, when they have that data, they don't just have that data for that moment. They have that data for an entirety of your life. Yeah. And you don't know when it might be used against you, when it might be used against your child, when it might be used against someone that you know. There is no parameters about how this data can be used against you whenever. So it's, it's, it's not something that's theoretical that we have to, to look at. It is actually something that's functional right now. Mm -hmm.